Hi everyone. Um, I just wanted to make a small video to give you a small update on three of the four little sisters we have in our care. Um, the fourth one found a home here in Tanzania with a family, which makes me very, very happy. And the other three ones are still with us. One of them also found a home, which is Malu, who's laying here. Oh, wait. Here, this is Malu. And she actually found a home with my uh, with my mother in Germany, but it will take her a little while to go there, it seems, because we're facing a problem here right now in the Kilimanjaro Animal Rescue, which is called aflatoxin. And, um, <laughs> yeah, aflatoxin means in the end that the liver is failing through a fungus in the food. In our case, it's rice. It can also be maize or anything like that. But, um, yeah, we're buying the, our rice for the, feeding the dogs here in Uchiwa, in the local village. And the problem is that you never know how long it's getting stored or in which way it's getting stored. Especially now, like the rain season just ended. But in the rain season it's nearly impossible here to keep something dry and, um, yeah, and safe. So. It's even a very big problem also for humans because the humans are buying the same rice we are buying for the dog for the dogs and um the smaller the body is the more difficult it's getting to um yeah to for the liver to um handle the problem with the toxic so humans like grown ups possibly don't uh, don't see any results of it or anything like that but children are suffering a lot um because of it as well as our dogs in this case so much that three of our dogs already died because of that, which makes us very, very sad. And so we can only try to protect the others. But the problem with uh, aflatoxin is that there's no nothing like a cure or anything, nothing like a medicine you can give them and it's gone. You can just try to strength the liver to face it, which we're, we are doing. We also have some supplements from Germany which are helping. and. Um, yeah, and then you can only like um, try to feed them all, always a little bit, many times a day, because then you can make sure that most of the body is um, is taken care of, um, like as well of the rest of the body, not only for digesting the food. And yeah, but we also have a little success in there because Malu was very very sick when she got to the doctor, and. If you see now, she has a lot of color again in her gum and when she was at the doctor it was uh, like yellow, like colorless. So um, yeah, that already is a small success which makes me very happy. And even Coco, which you can see here, which is a very tiny dog by now because she lost so much weight, um, she still has no color in her gum. But um, in the last two days she's uh, eating a bit more again, which is making me happy because before she was sometimes even refusing the food. And that means that she's hopefully also on the, on the way to get better. Um, yeah, another thing which I uh, wanted to ask actually is we, um, we try to test the blood of one of our dogs to see whether it's viral or not. But the doctors in Nairobi, they couldn't find out. So if anyone has an idea how we can find out whether it's viral or not, please get in touch because it might save uh, many dog lives here right now. And um, it doesn't look for us like it's viral, but I mean, you, you never know and I will not um, yeah, let anyone come close to, these, to the sick dogs and then see them dying just because we haven't been able to keep them away from each other. So, yes. That's what I wanted to say. And so if anyone is out there who has a bit more knowledge on that, please get in touch. And um, yeah, <laughs> bye.